me and my buddy Mark, we've been driving for a long time together. And, uh, we were heading to California, and we were coming through the gorge. Mark seen this RV on the side, and he yelled at me and told me, hey, there's an RV on the side you need to get over. Huh? Well, the next thing I know, he's saying, oh, wait, that, that thing's on fire. We grabbed our fire extinguishers, and we both ran over there, didn't even ask no questions. We just started helping put that fire out. We almost got it out, and we just ran out of it. Me and Mark said, you know, it's not. It's already getting into the cab. You can see it through the windshield. He said, it's a goner. Let's, uh, let's just secure the scene at that, at that time, you know. The old man said, hey, uh, that, that pickup truck on the back's got a quick latch. Boy, there was tires popping all around us, and the heat was, oh, my God, the heat was extensive. And then... Uh, we got that pickup truck finally off there, got it pushed up out of the way. This this lady, she was really impatient. She says, I need to get through there. Can I just get through? You know, and by this time, me and Mark, you know, we had the interstate shut down. And uh, I, I told the lady, I said, absolutely not. And not, not even two seconds later after that came out of my mouth, the uh, propane tank went, it blew up. And it shot a flame all the way across the interstate, catching the medium on fire, and and more tires were popping, and it, it was just, it was a crazy scene. If I see somebody on the side of the road that is in absolute danger or hell, like, like, like those people were, uh, I'm going to be the first one to stop.